Hi, it's Katrina. From an ancient sea creature in a golden ball to a mysterious murder from 6,000 years ago, here are 10 incredible archaeological discoveries. Number 10. The Dance Floor of John the Baptist Archaeologists claim that they have discovered the dance floor where John the Baptist was sentenced to death in the year 29 AD. St. John the Baptist was a Jewish prophet who foretold the coming of Jesus and had a circle of disciples. He preached about God's final judgment and baptized his followers, including Jesus himself. Like most saints, he was sentenced to death after he insulted King Herod Antipas, son of King Herod the Great, when he called him out for divorcing his wife and marrying his brother's wife instead. King Herod was worried about the growing influence of John the Baptist, getting people all riled up, and so according to historical records, King Herod Antipas had the man executed at an unnamed fort near the Dead Sea in what is today Jordan. However, the Bible tells a much more dramatic tale, saying that King Herod Antipas decided to kill John the Baptist because of a dance. He was about to marry his brother's wife Herodias, who had a daughter named Salome. During the king's birthday party, his future daughter performed a dance that was so beautiful and charming, he promised to give her anything she wanted. What she wanted was John the Baptist's head on a platter for insulting her mother. The king fulfilled the request, and the preacher was beheaded. Until recently, this was seen as just a story from the Bible. However, a courtyard recently uncovered at the archaeological site of Machaerus in Jordan may very well be where this fabled dance was performed. This is according to archaeologists working with a team to excavate important areas around the Dead Sea. Experts recognized one part of the courtyard as the throne of King Herod Antipas, and that was when they realized the dance floor had probably been right in front of it. The reconstruction of the site with the courtyard and the throne area next to it indicate that all the elements of the story are there. It is historically likely that the excavation has brought the dance floor of Salome to life, and this may have been where the saint was sentenced to death. Number 9. Fossils in a Golden Ball Amateur archaeologist Aaron Smith discovered some very strange ancient sea creatures hiding inside of what kind of looks like the golden snitch from Harry Potter. The discovery happened on the beach in Yorkshire, when the young archaeologist uncovered a rock coated in iron pyrite, what you may know as fool's gold. The rock is so shiny and so smooth, and it looks so much like gold that at first glance it could be mistaken for a golden cannonball. Amazingly, when Smith broke the golden ball open, he was rewarded with a piece of history dated back over 185 million years. There was a cephalopod literally fossilized inside of the iron pyrite. This was a type of Clevisera fossil, with Clevisera being an extinct type of cephalopod that lived during the Jurassic period. Because these cephalopods came with shells, they were able to be fossilized, unlike modern squids and octopuses that have no bones. Believe it or not, these kinds of discoveries are actually pretty common in the United Kingdom. Golden balls can be found mixed in with other rocks along the shore, and they almost all have fossils of extinct critters hiding inside of them. Number 8. Ancient Temple of the Moon A secret passageway has been discovered underneath a sacred pyramid in the ancient Aztec city of Teotihuacan. Archaeologists say it may have been used as an entranceway into the underworld. The passage was discovered beneath the Pyramid of the Moon by scanning under the surface of the Earth using new technologies. Researchers found a cavity going all the way from beneath the pyramid to the center of the nearby plaza of the moon. This amazing discovery has confirmed that the ancient people who lived in this once great city dug tunnels beneath their monuments. However, it's not exactly clear what they used the tunnels for. Archaeologists, of course, have a few theories. They believe the people may have used this underground labyrinth to emulate the underworld, a place where in their mythology they believed all organic life was created. On the other hand, the tunnels may have been secret passageways for important priests to move from monument to monument without being bothered by the public. Perhaps both, since underground was a sacred space in between the living and the dead, and the priests had the ability to be with both. As for the Pyramid of the Moon itself, construction began in the year 100 BC as nothing but a small platform where ritual ceremonies were likely carried out. It took 550 years to complete. By the year 450, it was a pyramid around 150 feet tall and filled with mysterious tunnels, often used in human sacrifices and to carry out rituals to appease the gods. 
Number 7. Arctic Dinosaurs A research team has discovered a dinosaur nursery in the Arctic. Scientists with the University of Alaska Fairbanks learned that about 70 million years ago, the Arctic was full of dinosaurs. They found evidence of all different branches of life living in the region throughout the entire year, from small bird-like predators to larger carnivores like tyrannosaurs. Pat Drunkenmiller, who worked with the scientific team, said they now have unequivocal evidence that many dinosaurs were nesting far north in the Arctic Circle. You might be thinking to yourself that of course dinosaurs lived in the Arctic, but this wasn't actually a known fact until now. This was the first time that scientists could prove dinosaurs reproduced at higher latitudes. Previously, scientists believed dinosaurs migrated south for the winter to warmer weather, just like birds do today. But they didn't. Dinosaurs laid eggs in the Arctic and then hung around all year. The scientists uncovered fossilized evidence of what they described as a giant prehistoric maternity ward, with fragments of bones and teeth, many of them no larger than a needle. These bones were left over from hordes of prehistoric dino babies. Amazingly, the only way scientists could analyze these itty-bitty little bones was by scooping buckets of sediment from cliffs and then running the material through tiny screens to remove rocks and soil until all they had left were almost microscopic baby dinosaur bones. They don't know every last species that lived here in the Arctic, but there were definitely a lot. Number 6. Iron Age Plastics Archaeologists have made a weird ancient discovery involving plastic. Most of us are pretty aware by now that plastic has perforated every last inch of the earth, and now it seems to be sweeping into archaeological sites as well. In the Iron Age village of Castle Henless, where a small community thrived in what is today Wales about 2,000 years ago, researchers have found thousands of pieces of plastic. Here's how it happened. The historical town was reconstructed by archaeologists and researchers using the exact same materials that the villagers used back during the Iron Age. It's one of the coolest archaeological sites anywhere in Wales, hidden in the rolling hills and lush greenery of the countryside. It's been open to the public for 35 years and is one of the top destinations for local school trips. Then in 2018 and 2019, some of the old houses needed to be replaced. This was when the plastic was found. Despite the archaeological site being incredibly well-maintained and constantly clean, there was plastic everywhere. Researchers were shocked by the sheer amount. This site should have been immaculate. It's not like people were throwing plastic trash all over the ground. And still, researchers uncovered thousands of scraps of plastic, suggesting that everywhere else on the planet is way, way worse. Number 5. Prehistoric Seal While exploring the ruins of a prehistoric settlement in Israel, Archaeologists discovered an old clay seal dating back 7,000 years that predates the art of writing. This seal comes from before Israel ever entered the Bronze Age. The seal, which is a type of stamp, looks oddly like stamps that are still used today. There were actually 150 clay seals found at the archaeological site of Tel Saf, but this particular one stood out to the researchers, who called it a rare find of great historical value. But just what on earth could a clay seal have been used for 7,000 years ago, and before Israel even developed the written word? It's not like people were sending letters in the post. These types of seals were used to mark cargo, silos, and even barns. Believe it or not, these seals were often used as a kind of anti-theft system. For example, a farmer would stamp the seal over a closed barn door, and if that seal was broken when they returned, it meant someone had snuck into the barn. They would do the same thing for shipments. If a shipment arrived and the seal of a particular piece of cargo was broken, it would mean someone had opened that cargo and possibly stolen something. These types of seals are still used today for securing letters, documents, and yes, cargo. Number 4. Mysterious Spanish Tombs In Spain, archaeologists have unearthed a collection of mysterious tombs in an even more mysterious Islamic necropolis. Over 4,500 bodies have been uncovered, pulled from at least 400 tombs in a new archaeological site that spans five acres. The burial ground dates back to the 8th century and was found near the modern town of Zaragoza. The history of the area is bloody and brutal. Around the year 711, Arab forces had already begun to conquer the area. They remained in Spain until 1492, when the Catholic kings Ferdinand and Isabella recaptured Spain and forced the Muslims out. This cemetery was used to bury bodies of the Islamic forces who occupied the area for all of those centuries. 
There has been a fair bit of historical debate surrounding the Islamic occupation of the region. But this new discovery washes away any doubt that the people didn't live here in large numbers. Each body buried in the necropolis was done so according to the Islamic customs. This mostly means the body was always facing southeast toward Mecca. Archaeologist Eva Jimenez, who has been working closely with the project, told CNN that the discovery proves the Islamic presence in Spain was more serious than previously thought. There was obviously a large Muslim population here for centuries. Number 3. The Megalodon At a construction site in Somerville, South Carolina, fossil hunter Matthew Bassick discovered the tooth of a prehistoric shark monster. Amazingly, the tooth wasn't even that hard to find. Matthew discovered the ancient tooth sticking out the side of a drainage ditch. He had been visiting the site specifically to look for fossils, and he hit the jackpot. Underneath the first tooth, he found a second. And according to Matthew, it was the second largest tooth he had ever seen. And this guy is a professional fossil hunter. See? One man's construction site is another's gold mine. But just what kind of animal did the teeth belong to? It was, of course, a megalodon, the biggest and most dangerous shark that ever lived. To give you a rough idea of how huge this megalithic monster was, its tooth weighed about three pounds and measured almost six and a half inches. The tooth would overlap an ordinary person's hand. And it's not like the megalodon only had one tooth, either. Its mouth was full of them, which is not surprising seeing as the giant shark could reach incredible lengths of over 60 feet. The megalodon was the biggest fish to ever live, gobbling up an estimated 2,500 pounds of food every day before it went extinct around 3.6 million years ago. All that eating took a whole lot of sharp teeth. As for Matthew, he added the new megalodon teeth to his fossil collection, which contains at least 250 other teeth from these great sharks. He said, the shark gods were with me. Number 2. San Qing Dui Discoveries Archaeologists in China have been unearthing hundreds of bizarre and mysterious artifacts from what may just be the most important site in China. The archaeological site is the ancient city of San Qing Dui, dating back over 3,000 years. The National Cultural Heritage Administration says archaeologists have found over 500 priceless relics in recent months, including fragments from a creepy bronze mask and plenty of weird figurines crafted from ivory and jade. The site is so big that excavations have been going on for the last three decades. There is even a museum nearby where all the best artifacts are put on display. Despite so many excavations and so much archaeological attention, there still isn't much known about the mysterious Sanxing Dui civilization. We know it was the largest centralized city anywhere in the region of what is today the Sichuan province. It dates back to around 2000 BC, and researchers have also discovered evidence that the city was once protected by huge walls. Some researchers claim the civilization had direct ties to the origin of Chinese culture. Others even say the people here may have been visited by extraterrestrials based on curious figurines crafted in the likeness of inhuman, alien-looking creatures. Of course, none of these theories have been proven. The most recent discovery came in the form of six giant sacrificial pits that had probably been used in an unknown religious ceremony. Humans were sacrificed, possibly to a strange deity, and their remains were tossed into holes in the ground. Number 1. An Ancient Massacre Speaking of sacrificial pits, a murder hole was recently discovered in eastern Croatia. The hole dates back 6,200 years. Within the hole, archaeologists found a group of 41 men, women, and children who had been brutally attacked and then dumped into a mass grave. At first, experts believed the victims were from World War II, perhaps casualties of the war or a village that had been wiped out during the 1990s Balkan conflict. It wasn't until researchers realized there were no bullets or even bullet holes that they knew the bodies were ancient. It helped that they also found fragments of old pottery to date the corpses. The next guess was that the victims had been part of a single community that had been targeted for total annihilation for unknown reasons. However, after doing a complete DNA analysis of the victims, what happened to be the largest genetic study of a mass killing in history, researchers learned the victims weren't even related. Even after the investigation, researchers never answered the question of who these people were, why they were killed, or who exactly did the killing. The lead author of the study, archaeologist Mario Novak, called it a mystery that will probably never be solved. Thanks for watching. 
Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up to let me know you want to see more like these. See you later! Bye!